This lighting is awful. It's literally the worst lighting ever. Right, so I was just about to make myself some lunch and then I started to go through the fridge because there was loads of food that hadn't been eaten because I have been ill and I've not been able to eat um, the food that I usually eat so all the food that I bought for myself wasn't being used and Alex isn't one to eat broccoli and aubergine and like vegetables so all the vegetables has kind of got started to go off so I started taking all of it out and thinking what can I make myself for lunch because I've been feeling a lot better recently and I've been able to eat more food so I've been testing other foods I've been fine so then I started going through the covers and I was like oh what shall I have for lunch and then I realized there's just so much food in our cupboards and in our fridge and because of work or because of the fact that I'm constantly creating new recipes we're constantly buying new ingredients and not living how we used to where I would always do like pantry clear outs and I'd try and eat everything in the pantry something I highly recommend you do so now this happened and I just emptied all the cupboards and I'm like putting it all back in so I thought we'd film it because you guys seem to like the last video where I did this um yeah and this it's really frustrating how much food I have that needs to be used up so I think my next recipe video I'm going to look in the cupboard and try and plan it around that first and foremost we also need a lot more jars because um we don't have enough and everything gets a bit like disorganized when there's jars and then not jars for other things so yeah I'm just gonna get organizing now Speaking of jars, highly recommend you keep old jars like this was a sundry tomato or gherkin jar because sometimes they're quite big and then I'm going to put um, I think couscous or something in here so keep your old jars. I have literally like so many up there on my microwave. So I think we're done. So it's much more organized in here. I get so mad at Alex because he loves to buy duplicates of things when they're on offer. So that we have like two lots of jam, we have three lots of peanut butter, two lots of Marmite, two lots of gravy, like, ah, but oh well. Here's all of our like nuts and seeds and like as almond meal, flax meal, that type of thing. All of our spices and then in here, we have all of our jars of things like rice, beans, that type of stuff. And then we're gonna buy four more jars when we go back home because um, I'm gonna stop buying tins of beans and start buying them in bulk. Obviously this isn't a plastic wrapper, but um, I'm gonna start buying them in bulk and getting big things of chickpeas and big things of other beans because we use beans constantly. And it's just silly of us to use tins when we can get them in bulk in Brighton. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we'll have another one for pasta and then here, other sort of smaller things that I've bought recently for recipes like quinoa, couscous, um, bulgur wheat, etc. And at the top we have baking stuff. We have like the excess peanut butter and protein powder that Alex purchased. And then these are all the things like pastas and arbore rice, stuff that won't, we don't buy often so it's not in jars. And that's so much better. It was an absolute mess before. And then I've got these vegetables that need to be eaten and then also this curry that I didn't quite finish the other day. So I think I'm just gonna make a huge meal that I can have for lunch and dinner because I've got so much to do, to do today of maybe just, I don't know, some kind of curry or something um, or stir fry with these vegetables, then that will be good. Then lots of the food will be eaten and there's not much, well, there's still lots left in the fridge, but most of the food's eaten and we can take the tomatoes back with us and the cucumber and the carrots and put the spinach in a smoothie in the morning, so yeah. Oh, also, we bought halva the other day and it's my first time trying it. We were walking past a health food shop and I've always heard people talk about halva because it's basically just tahini um, and sugar, so it's like a sesame seed dessert and I've heard lots of vegans go on about how delicious it is and it is, I can confirm, very delicious. So if you see it in a shop, give it a go, just check it's vegan. I've seen it before and it's not been vegan. So um, I think the traditional ones are, but I've seen it in a supermarket and it had 
milk in it or something weird, which I don't think it normally does have, but um, yeah, it's really, really good. I feel like I'm always vlogging looking like a mess recently, but that's life. That's life! Um, I have really great news. Yesterday I had my first meal, like my ex first experimental meal since having the IBS flare up that didn't make me um, sick. So just like before then I was away at the weekend in London and so I stuck to sort of my safe foods that I knew wouldn't upset me. So I was literally just living off of oats and um, vegan cheese toasties because I knew that gluten-free bread and vegan cheese was fine then I'd have some crisps as well and when I came back I th I said to myself that when I get back from London because I was away with family I didn't want to risk upsetting my stomach so I just avoided eating out I had my own food and um, when I got back I said I'll test food and I've been testing food and kind of trying out different things. First of all, I tried out some curries and some kind of simple stir fries, but avoided onion and garlic because I know that onion and garlic is something that really can cause issues for people who have IBS. So I thought I'll stick to just normal vegetables because honestly I hadn't eaten like a normal meal with like vegetables. I'd been living off um, toasties and oats and crisps and the occasional soup, but even soup was making me feel unwell. But Anyway, yeah, I had some sort of simple curries without onion and garlic for a few days and that type of thing, and I was fine. And um, yesterday, Alex made chickpea masala for dinner, and it had onion and garlic in it, and I ate it, and I was totally fine. So today, I just made um, that meal full of loads of leftovers, and I had onion and garlic and uh, ginger and broccoli and uh, carrot and everything that I would normally eat. And we will see in the next hour or so if it upset my tummy or not. Um, I'm feeling really happy because I'm able to, oh, I'm seemingly able to eat normal foods again and I'm seeing a dietitian next Friday. I spoke with her on the phone yesterday and she was really lovely on the phone, really, really helpful, really, really nice and I, even though, even though I'm feeling better, I think it's a really useful thing for me to do just because uh, I can get a clearer idea of maybe what has happened and she can give me some advice on it. And even just from a point of view of out of interest, I would love to speak with a dietitian because I'm so passionate about food and interested in food, it's my job. I just, I feel like it'd be insightful. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I think that what's really helped me is just winding down, taking time off, not putting pressure on myself to do any work, just doing work in the sort of time scale that works for me, uh, sleeping as much as I need to. I've not been setting alarms and I've been lying in. I've been having a lot of downtime, spending time with family and just relaxing, you know, meditating more than I usually do. Drinking also, on a practical sense, every morning I've been having a pint of water with apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice, and also I've been taking probiotics. So I had stopped taking probiotics, and I think that might have contributed. I stopped taking probiotics after we came back from Porto because they ran out, I didn't buy a new pack. So I'm gonna speak with the dietitian to ask if that may have contributed um, to the flare up. And I've also been taking digestive enzymes. We got them both from Holland and Barrett if you're interested in getting some. Do your own research, don't take my, my word for it. I'm not a professional, um, I'm not qualified to give advice and I wanna make that clear whenever I talk about the, these kind of things. Do your own research, please speak with your doctor, go see a dietitian. But for me, the probiotics and the digestive enzymes have really worked. And if that is the solution, if it's the probiotics and the digestive enzymes that have solved the problem for me, then that's a pretty easy solution. I am a warrior. I'm someone who, when I get ill, when something goes wrong, I freak out. I get so worried about it and um, my mind runs away with me. So that's just my personality. I'm an overthinker. But anyway, I've spoken for a while. That's my little update on IBS. And um, for now, I feel pretty great. I feel pretty good and I am probably gonna be able to eat more food now which is making me really happy because I've just not been eating as much and it's really affected my energy levels. I've been like a, a shell of myself and getting very tired very easily so I'm excited to be eating a normal amount of calories again and not just having to live off of toasted sandwiches and crisps. <laughs> so yeah, we've got lots to do today. I just made a big payment on my student loan. I'm really happy about that feel very accomplished. Now we've got loads of other things to do on the list because we're going back to Cornwall tomorrow. Have we said that? No. Yeah, we're going to Cornwall for the weekend. So you'll get to be in Cornwall with us. I know so many of you love me and I love us being in Cornwall. Frisbee! Because um, a lot of you guys have been following us since we were living in Cornwall. So that's exciting. We'll see the doggies. 
and it's um, perfect timing to chill out and relax. Yeah, but we've got to tidy up. I probably should not hold my card here, should I? No, don't do that. Am I going to have to blur that? Yeah, so we're decluttering again today. Yes. And yesterday even, you cleaned all my drawers for me. We did the underbed drawers, which I'm very grateful for. Oh. And guess what all the decluttering in here has? Who's it from? Well, you've already done yours, so now I'm doing mine. No, this is all his. It's like this here. You might have seen it in the background of videos. This is Alex, what he does. He gathers boxes of stuff. And on the desk, there's a pile of stuff. This is what he does. He builds up piles. He's like, I'll deal with that later. I'll deal with that later. And then the pile builds and builds and builds. And then it's just a mess. So there's like a pile of candles because he wants to make candles. And then a box with loads of stuff. And it's been sat there for months and I haven't said anything. And I've reached my tether now. No. <laughs> And we cleaned up that cupboard months ago yeah. and he just filled it again with all his stuff. It's pretty much clean, it's just messy. Pew pew. Look, I'll clean it, I'll clean it out now, all right? Are you ready for it to disappear? See? Yeah, do you want to just turn around and show you what's on the floor right next to you? No, to your left. Oh. All right, let's get on with it. Let me tell you a story. Not you, I'm talking to the camera. Oh, I'll listen. So I went to the gym, just happily went to the gym. Alex went to drop some things off, post some things to the post office. And I said, oh, I'll go to the gym while you're in the post office. I go to the gym, I haven't done a leg day in weeks because of being like ill. I kind of gave myself time off the gym. Started doing it and I was thinking, I am not able to lift as heavy as I usually do and I thought that that was just because it's been a while and as I was doing it I was thinking why do my legs ache so much like in between sets and why do I feel so weak and kind of like I was like shaking almost and then I started to feel really like weak and kind of like faint and then I was like oh god the period pains are coming because I'm on my period and I don't know about you, but I don't get period pains in my back. I get period pains in my thighs, like on the front of my legs. And it's so excruciatingly painful. And I was like, oh, great timing, getting um, period pains on my legs as I'm doing a leg workout. If, if like the pe period pains weren't painful enough, I'm doing a leg workout, which is gonna ache my legs even more. So I had to come home. Well, I, I pretty much finished my workout. I just cut out one one of the workouts I was gonna do. And I went upstairs to sit down on the bike and kind of, I thought, oh, it'd be good to kind of uh, warm down a bit because I was a bit shaky. And I thought if I try and walk home now, I might feel a bit faint. So I'll sit down on the bike and kind of pedal my legs out. That might help me warm down. And no, I, just, I did it for about one minute and I realized, no, 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 I can't, I have to go home. So I came home and then I've been sat here for literally an hour. I got home at six. I've been sat here on the bed. I've only just got changed because I couldn't move. I couldn't get changed. Alex had to take my jumper off, make me a hot water bottle. And I've been laying here like a dead bug with this water bottle on my legs. I've been laying flat in my workout clothes, really gross. And I've just got changed and I've feel minor, minorly better. Cause I don't know, when I get period pains, I've had this ever since I was young. I get it, well, when I was young, I used to have it every single month, but now I get it every like three to four months. I have this kind of period pain in my legs. Um, I have it on the second day of my period because I don't think the first day of your period really counts as a period. It's not really like proper period. And then I have it where I feel like I have excruciating, agonizing pain for like an hour or so where I have to lie down in bed and do nothing and then it goes away and then I'm okay. And it's kind of just like a really shallow pain that I don't, I don't, it's not really that bad. It's not as bad as it used to be when I was a teenager. I think when you're going through puberty, I had some serious incidences, puking and fainting and whatnot. But um, anyway, now I'm recovered. I've got pajamas on and I'm gonna have more food that I, from the food that I made earlier. 
and I'm gonna rest and watch Love Island, I think. Um, I was just watching loads of IGTV videos whilst I was sitting there waiting. What are your thoughts on IGTV? If you don't know what I'm talking about, Instagram has released um, this thing called IGTV, which means that uh, you can upload hour long vertical videos. So rather than like this video you're watching, it's horizontal, it's vertical. Like, so you, I guess the intent is to get people to film it on their phone and watch it on their phone and make it a bit more casual. But what are your thoughts? I did post a video on there, but I don't know, I'm thinking what I might try is I might try posting videos on there, not every day, but like some days that I feel like it, just like kind of like a casual video, because I watched one just now where a girl was showing kind of the vitamins that she takes and stuff, and it was just filmed on her phone, it's really casual, it was like five minutes long. And I kind of liked it because it felt like it's going back to the old school YouTube days where there wasn't much production value, it was just you were kind of watching somebody live their life. And um, I feel like that's probably their intention is sit down videos. And I also watched a video earlier from Raw Alignment, which was just sat chatting about social media and things. So I might do that. I might do like Q and A's and sit down where I'm thinking about something and I just talk about it. And like, if I'm doing my skincare routine, I'll show you it. So let me know if you like that idea. I'm gonna shut up now because Alex is gonna hate me for all this chatting. I don't mind. People like it, don't they? Yeah. I was just yeah. asking them what they thought about IGTV. I was just saying that I think I might do like, cause I, from my, from a consumer's perspective or a w audience perspective, I just watched today. Yeah. I've scrolled through loads of videos and I've been scrolling through the recipe videos. I'm not interested in them how, for some reason. How long are they generally? They're like normal. Well, people are trying out different thing. things. Lots of people are posting recipe videos. Lots of people are posting like um, quite high production videos. And I've been skipping those and I've been stopping on the videos where people are, uh, sitting down and talking because I think that's the intent and if you just kind of sat there you can kind of just sit and listen to somebody and then I just watched one just now of somebody showing their vitamins that they're t currently oh, so taking. You're going to do that. Well I was thinking of stuff just, that wouldn't quite fit in. Yeah like casual YouTube. just like I think that people yeah. miss that and there's been a surge in that on YouTube people wanting more vlog everyday stuff. Well yeah the last video that we did we got a good reception on the yeah um the last couple which is nice yeah because people, people I was saying they they like that kind of sit down not really doing anything. Yeah. And I know we like what I, I know, love so. watching that stuff. It's my favourite stuff to watch. And because my channel's become quite high production value now with the recipes and the, the minimalism videos, I put a lot of effort into production value. I think on Instagram, it, to make it mm. different, I did post a recipe video, but then when I did it, I thought, you know, what, this is just the same as my YouTube. What's the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I might just post on the day because there's lots of stuff I want to share. And it doesn't really fit as a photo or fit as a YouTube video. So if I'm sat there, I'm thinking, like for example, I think what I'll post tomorrow or at some point is the um, the probiotics and the supplements I'm taking right now to help my IBS. And then maybe I might do a quick video of like the stuff that I'm taking home with me to Cornwall, like that type of thing, because it's just in the moment and it would just be a video that I just quickly film on my phone. I don't edit it and I just upload it. I think that's what I'm going to try. See what everyone thinks and see if this IGTV thing actually has some weight or whether it just, it might be one of those things that just, no, it, it just falls flat and nobody watches it. So we shall see. I'm gonna go make food now. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh, right, let's go make food. My legs are so, m mildly recovered, Alex. Oh, you washed up. Yeah. Oh, you got, your, you got yourself a gigantic loaf of bread. Yeah. Why did you do that? Well, I figured I'd have two sandwiches in the car big chunky sandwich. Uh, so that'd be like nearly half a loaf. And then I'll take some down because uh, whenever we go to your parents, I kind of feel guilty about eating all their bread. <laughs> so I'll take a half Look, a loaf down. I wish I could eat that bread. Yeah. I wish. Anyway, bye. I did it, everybody. Why are you out of breath? Whoop. Oh. Whoop. Oh. Why are you out of breath? Um, because I was just yelling at the top of my voice because I got the bike up finally. Are you happy? He just said to me, be happy. This is not a, a, a directed, scripted TV show, mister. No, I was saying be happy, I got the bike up. No, you weren't. You're telling me to be happy for the camera. Well, that as well. You are pretty grumpy. This is not scripted. I'll be grumpy if I it's, choose. It's scripted reality, okay? Are you excited to go home tomorrow? Yes. Me too. Well, I'm not going home, but I did live there. It's your home. It's one of my it's many home. homes. <laughs> I'm more excited to see the cats, you know. And the dogs. Two out of three of the dogs I like as well. <gasps> Which one don't you like? I'm joking. I love them all. <laughs> all right. Oh, Love, love Island's, Island's coming back start. up. <laughs> We've got to go. All Bye. right. Bye.
Yes! You're a loser.